Hi you all, how are you doing? Welcome to Let's Talk with Miami, your channel of motivation, inspiration and positive vibes. So today I am going to talk about insecurity in our relationships, be it from the man's side or the woman's side. I find insecurity is quite a very important um, thing to talk about in our relationships because I find there are so many um, factors responsible for this and then I have spoken to so many people about this topic. I have seen so many relationships actually fall apart because of the insecurities of one partner or the other. And then one of the basic and fundamental things that I see, I'm sorry for the light change, I'm using the natural light and the sun shines and it goes, it gets cloudy. Anyways, um, so I find one of the important things is being self-critical or criticizing your partner. This self-critic as in I am not good enough, I am not beautiful enough, I am not tall enough, I am, uh, my body is not good enough and I am not rich enough or I do not have enough money or I am not smart enough. This could all be um, factors that actually could lead to insecurity in a relationship because when you try to be perfect or you when you want to be perfect you would it is difficult because none of us is perfect we are all different we all have our different personalities we have different backgrounds and so i think when we are in a relationship we need to put these things into consideration and know that these are the realities i mean being perfect is to, truly boring i don't want to be perfect and like i always try to sit here and then tell you all what i would do or what i am experiencing my husband knows that i am not perfect and i know that he is not perfect and i don't even want him to be perfect so we can talk about all the imperfections we can complement the imperfections and then not just try to use it negatively in our relationship and um, that could be it because the other thing that it leads up to is comparing yourself to other women out there or other men out there or specifically your wives or your partner's exes or uh he is taller he is better he is richer or she is more beautiful she is smarter and things like that and you co start comparing yourself to these people and it makes the relationship very difficult because you cannot be them and you also don't expect your partner to be like them because it just simply not realistic and this could actually put a strain on the relationship and um, I think it is another factor that for me it's just important to talk about. Another factor is attention. I believe most of the times we all want the attention from our partners and it is just natural for us to want this and I find when we find that we're not getting this attention that we deserve or that we need or that we want we should be able to talk about it and not just assume that we're not getting the attention because he or she is giving attention somewhere and not to you specifically and just talk about it you know like I come from my husband so many oftentimes as in hey baby how do you do how do you feel about our relationship about me and it's not from a insecurity perspective it's more how are you doing you know how do you feel we've been married for eight years now and maybe the mariama eight years ago is not the same mariama now or maybe you know it i would just want to know how you feel genuinely and openly so when we are not getting this attention and we're not talking about it we are just assuming things in our heads is he getting it somewhere and it gets to an extent where some of us would want to um, go through our partner's personal things their computers or their phones their emails um etc and i find um it's quite unnecessary because i always say and that is what i believe when you look for something when you search for something you would always find something is it what you were looking for exactly or not it might be it might not but you would definitely find something and then the question still stays 
how do you interpret it because we can have one message and we could interpret this message in hundred different ways sometimes to our own convenience because that's what we want to believe but that's not it and we're not open to listen to the next one or our partners so i um usually would say no you know pff, husband's phone or wife's phone please let it be it's just the trust when you trust someone, you give them the benefit of the doubt. You just don't go running around or running behind them or after them to try to find something that you would use against them. I have seen relationships where <laughs> partners would have to lock their phones in drawers when they're going to take their shower or they constantly have codes and passwords and all that. And I find it's it's just you you're anxious you're like oh is he gonna touch my phone oh is she gonna take my phone and I think it is just stressful energy draining to be in that kind of situation so what are my solutions to this I know um, I talk about communication because that's what I believe in that's why my relationship is um, it's where it is today and I'm grateful for that is open communication sometimes my husband would say Mariam I know exactly what you want you want to talk about something important and I need to sleep but can we talk about it tomorrow please and I'm like I think I want to talk about it now <laughs> but anyway sometimes I'll let it be till the next day sometimes I'm like just briefly please let's just take 10 minutes and talk about this and all that and it's not thin serious it's just basically wanting to know how he is doing in our relationship you know so open communication is it the missing attention you need to talk about because you don't feel that you have the attention that you need please openly talk about it ask questions make him try or her understand that this is how you are feeling i think that would help another thing that i think is most importantly loving yourself accepting yourself for who you are and not trying to be someone else uh, not trying to be who he wants you to be but being yourself and he accepting that this is how you are and it's it's something important because i would say people i when we talk about insecurities these are things that sometimes people don't see from the outside they are just voices in our heads that are telling us oh you're not beautiful enough you're not smart enough you're not that enough or whatever and i know like i am not a tall person i'm quite short and i never dwelled on it because i had my heels to, <laughs> to compensate the height that i wanted so i can be tall i can be short and i love that about it i can just try to be comfortable and wear my sneakers and be on the road so um i don't care when people say oh you're too short or you're too small i i'm happy with that and it doesn't bother me at all so i think that is how i think every individual is it's beautiful in their own way every individual is important in their own way and every individual is loved when we understand that it helps us actually to have this positivity to grow to believe in ourselves to love ourselves then surrounding positive people around us or having positive people around us it's crucial people this is something i cannot overemphasize because i believe in that when you have negative people around you they they cost so much energy they drain drain energy from you it's so exhausting to be around them because everything you discuss with them everything you talk to them about everything that you do they always find something negative to say or to comment on and I find in every situation it doesn't matter how bad it is there are positive things to pull out from it from it there are positive things to actually draw out of there are positive things or we can turn these situations to positive things it always depends so try to have positive people around you and pe not 
not partners or people that would always tell you how bad you are or how imperfect you are or try to pick on these imperfections that you have talking about change that is going to be my last last solution you all the one thing we humans are capable of doing is change things so if you're not happy about yourself or you're not happy about certain situations that are creating these insecur insecurities in your life change them if you think it is your body walk on your body if you think it's a behavior evaluate it and work on that do you think it's the communication that is missing between you and your partner improve it so we are capable of changing situations in our lives i would like to say positivity it's the key communication is the key and trust and respect if you have questions or if you have specific topics that you would like me to talk about write it down and i'll definitely do that until next week you have a great time